All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And salutes to Yaki and teaching this word to the elect in truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this one's going to be a short video. This one, I want to speak about how we're not supposed to have our minds in this place, man. You know, this wicked kingdom is headed for a fall. Okay, and uh, we got to be seeking the kingdom, man. You know, um, so you know what, matter of fact, I'm going to start with that scripture as I said that, right, uh, it's not planned, I just got a few, you know, whatever comes to mind, you know, whatever scriptures come out, Lord willing by the spirit, man, all right, uh, so I'm going to start with Matthew chapter 6 and verse 30, 33, it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So seek first, the first thing we are to seek. That's supposed to be the main thing is to seek the kingdom, right? The kingdom of heaven to come on the earth. That's gonna be for the Lord's people. Right? The ruling class will be the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites. They will be above all the heathen nations. As rulers. We're going to be perfect. We're going to be, uh, as the scriptures say, a nation of kings and priests unto the Lord. And we're going to be, uh, um, you know, giving out the law. We're going to be making judgments. We're going to be rulers over the people in righteousness. Okay, because the scriptures are going to be put within us, the, the, the laws Okay, I should say the laws, statutes, and commandments, all right, they're going to be put within the Lord's people. That's that new covenant. This is what we're supposed to be seeking because to, to in order to get to this point, we're going to have to go through things. We're going to have to be tested. We're, there's going to be trials and temptation, all right? This is a part of the fine tuning, you know, of, of the, the new rulers to come. Right, the men of the Lord, which the Lord is going to have them set, um, set up above, you know, uh, you know, overall, man. All right, so why this is what we're we're doing? We're practicing right now. We're in rehearsals, right? Practicing the righteousness, going into these scriptures, okay. And and the Lord is is sustaining us. He's giving us that what we need. He's adding on to us the things that are essential. That's how the Lord is, is doing this, right? So our mind is supposed to be focused on the truth right? and this word, which, you know, uh, repentance, you know, and, and salvation, which is going to lead to the kingdom. That's what we're supposed to be having our minds on. Okay, not in this current situation where all we see is wickedness. And, and in this uh, wicked world where it is, it's just evil, you know, you're not supposed to get comfortable. You're not supposed to say, oh, well, you know, uh, you know, and start thinking that the Lord, you know, he's, you know, what does the scripture say? Uh, the Lord delayeth his coming. You know, the scriptures speak about that. You know, I'm roughly quoting it. Right. But, you know, you can't have that, you know, thought like, oh, the Lord is not coming. No, because, you know, you got to be watching. Because if you're watching, you're seeing the things the Lord said would happen before he returns. You would see that happening. So you know that the Lord is going to return. You know that the word of the Lord is going to be fulfilled. Right? You know that this kingdom is going to collapse. The downfall is near. So the thing is, you got to ask yourself, do you want to be hand in hand? Right? As the scriptures say, Proverbs Cause I don't want to, I don't, hey, I don't want to be, but I know, I don't think you people out there want to be hand in hand, man. <laughs> you know, I don't think you want to be, cause what that means, you know, the judgment that's going to bring if you hand in hand, <laughs> which a lot of you people is, is too late for you. You're already joined onto this place, joined, you know, in, in league and agree with the wicked ways of this world. So your judgment is coming. You're already hand in hand. All right. But if only, if only you knew, all right. This is Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished.
but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Okay, so yeah, the wicked, they, they're going to be put down and they're going to be ashamed. They're going to be punished in the sight of the whole world. These heathens, those of our people that are wicked, they're all going down together, man. So they want to join hands and they want to, you know, move to the same beat in wickedness and let them do it. Okay, because they're going to be punished. They ain't going to get away with anything. The scriptures tell you that the, the sinners of the Lord's people shall die by the sword. All right? Those people that are, are you know, um, against the righteousness of the Lord's uh, word, right, and, and the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, those people that are in agreement of this world, how wickedness is now, then they're, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, but it says the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. You you know, you're going to have the elect, that they're always going to resist this world. Okay, they're going to be seeking the Lord and, and the, the righteous world to come. That's the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> All right, you're going to have the elect, the chosen few of the Lord's people that are going to reject the ways of this wicked world, man. They're not comfortable here. They don't want to stay in, in, in the evil world that we're in now, where we're oppressed in this captivity. We don't want to stay here. That's the mindset we should have. This is uh, Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? So, and we rise through these scriptures, right? You got to uh, get this word in your mind, right? Because, you know, we ain't going to have the means to just leave get a plane ticket and change locations, you know, this is not what that's talking about, right? The scriptures is not telling you that you are to go and up and just change, um, get yourself a window seat on a plane and fly to another location. It's talking about rising your mind, okay? you got to be enlightened with the word of the Lord, okay? And leave off the ways of the this wicked world, all right? Now, how are you going to get rest in a, in a, in a world that is constantly seeking to oppress you, to destroy you, and to harm you. You know, how are you going to have rested? You know, they're, they're preaching wickedness to your children, right? The alphabet groups, they're all teaching your children under the, you know, in those schools, teaching them wickedness. All right, the, the scriptures talk about this place, um, America, right? Uh, the valley of the shadow of death. What is that, right? The, the, the valley of the shadow of death, man, that, that's that low land. That's America, okay? And really, you know, where we are, you know, all over the world, you can die at any moment, you know? So, yeah, America, you know, you, it's, that really is, you know, the valley of the shadow of death. But the curses that are on us as well, you know, you know, the, the captivity that we're in, you know, the, the man... You don't know when, you know, it's, it's your last. So that's the point, man. You know, you, you ain't going to have rest in this captivity. Okay? You're going to have rest in the kingdom to come. Right now, we can't rest here because this is a place of punishment. This is a place of vexation. You're constantly vexed. You're seeing evil all the time. You're hearing evil. People are schemers and, and plotting. You know, against the just, if you're trying to do right, you're getting, um, you're getting looked at as like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're evil. You know, we're in a world where people call evil good and good evil. You know, and hey, why is that? It's all corrupted. Okay, because it says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So ultimately, this place is headed for a downfall. It's headed on its way out because you're not going to have a, a kingdom run on wickedness. Everybody hates each other. Everybody don't trust each other. And all this evil is happening, right? Scriptures say the love of many waxing cold. People will steal from each other, rob each other, harm each other. This is, is, is a time, remember before the, um, the time of the flood of Noah, there was continual evil and wickedness. In people's minds, in their hearts, on, on the earth, bloodshed and, and corruption. We're in a time where it's good. the judgment is going to be way worse than that time. All right, that's the type of sword destruction that's coming. It's going to be with fire, man. Nuclear missiles, ICBM missiles, 
raining down from high heaven that the Lord's going to bring. This is what's happening. The Lord's going to allow these things to happen as judgment upon the earth. The thing is, you don't want to go down with it. So we can't be in agreement. We can't be one in league with the wickedness in this world. We're, we're being separate. The, what the Lord chooses you, the Lord makes you separate. All right, let's get that preset. As I said, that this is John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. You see, and we're supposed to be seeking the kingdom. And this is the thing the Lord has opened our minds to this. And we didn't just choose to have this understanding, the knowledge, the wisdoms that we have. The Lord is the ones that set his eyes upon us right, and has, has called us, okay, that we can uh, do the work of the Lord, right, that we can bring in the elect, that we can, um, you know, through the hearing of the word, man, that's being preached. That's what we're doing. So we are to have our minds on this, okay, continuing on that straight path, that straight gate, the, the position of difficulties that we're in, because we're going to go through some, some, you know, hard things before the reward before the peace, man. Okay, before the kingdom actually can come. All right, the Lord is going to try us in, in, in um, adversity. This is Acts 14 and 22. <clears throat> it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. All right, this is a thing you got to be exhorted. All right, you got to exhort and be exhorted. Encourage and be encouraged. You see, because you, when you walk in his path, you know, um, and and you you know, you're in uh, you know this captivity. This place is not our rest. You're gonna have all types of hurdles thrown at you, man. All types of objects thrown at you. The scriptures talk about fiery darts of the wicked. Uh, um, you know, spiritual warfare. You know, battling demons, battling all sorts of things. But it's a part of the battle, all right? Because through all of it, we gotta continue. All right, we have to continuously continue through all of that. All right, through belief, through faith. Because it says, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. So that's what it's all about, man. It's about that kingdom being established. Once that is established, it will never be destroyed. That's where we have to have our minds, man. Not in this wicked kingdom now. This kingdom is filthy, it's disgusting, it will vex you and it will destroy you. All right, with no sorries. This place is ruthless, man. You know this this kingdom. You know the work. You know uh, the the you know just the cities, the environment, the people. They're wicked, man. They you can see the demons dancing in their eyeballs. You know, that's just what it is, man. That's you when you're you're aware of these things. The Lord opened your mind, and you know it's you can see it. It's clear. <laughs> You know, and you just got to have that good mindset, man. You, you, you got to laugh sometimes too, man. You got to laugh, man, because this is a movie, all right? The Lord has really got this movie going, man. This is one of the best motion pictures that you're going to find. Right? That's written in the scriptures. This is the book of life. All right. Um, where am I at? Uh, I'm going to close out soon. All right, I didn't want to make this too long. Um, But we ought to have our minds in this place, man. That's the main thing. Um, I'm gonna close out with us. Uh, uh, I'm gonna jump to the point. This is Second Peter's chapter three and verse thirteen. It says, "Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, right? The promise of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? The, this word, the scriptures, you know, that has, has told us what we have to look forward to, what is to come, the kingdom to come, the blessings to come." For staying faithful, for, for being diligent, you know, the, the reward after the risks, you know, you know, the hey, the salvation that is promised, man, you know, he that is endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right. So it says, according to the, you know, uh, uh, his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. See, there's all this, this looking, there's all this searching and seeking. Is looking and seeking. The scripture says that we, we're supposed to be seeking his kingdom. All right? This world is on its way out, man. It's crumbling. It's done. It's dead. It's rinsed. Played out. You can see our people, you know, you know they're, they're just 
their minds on wickedness. You see these heathens, you know they're just on evil. You, you just can see that this place is just, is on its way out. The Lord is fed up with this place. We're fed up with this place. So it's going to go down. All right? But we have hope after the destruction of Babylon, America, right? After the downfall of the wicked. All right? And it says, you know, hey, the, the things to come is, is, is going to be uh, blessings, man. It says, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, right? So things are going to be refreshed. It's, it's going to be reset, right? To righteousness in the earth, man, right? Wherein dwelleth righteousness, you know? So, yeah, the law, statutes, and commandments going to be established. And, you know, we're going to rule, you know, forever, man. In paradise. So with that... Um, I'll end it there, and to the elect, Shalom.